Alright, well slash x I'm going to go ahead and type my Goatman story, I really didn't know what a Goatman was until I saw some of the stories about it here. So here is a bit of backstory. Back in 2012 we always had bonfires every night. I'm in the Marine Corps Reserve so while I'm home I work as an Ohio State Trooper. Anyways, a bunch of my buddies and I were having a bonfire, we got everyone at my house around 7 p.m. then loaded them up into our Vecalis, one was a Chevy Suburban, a Jeep Wrangler and a Ford 350. The spot where we have our bonfire was a mile back on my land, there's this dirt path we take down to the cabin, it starts out as going in between two fields then through the woods then dead ends at our cabin which overlooks a creek that eventually dumps into the Scioto River. We had about 24 people packed into the three vehicles and shit, the Suburban is mine. So we set off, driving through the woods wasn't a big deal. But as soon as we got to the area I stepped out of my vehicle and could smell this god awful smell, death. It smelled like death, like an animal of some sort was rotting in the woods somewhere. Everyone else said they could smell it too, I didn't think nothing of it, maybe a dead deer or something that someone shot and couldn't find, it was the end of September, so hunting season had started. I started the fire and didn't think too much of the smell, we all eventually got used to it. We played beer pong and had a generator going to power the cabin. So my friend of mine Ryan had been telling me that the girl I had brought with me kept asking shit about me to him, saying how much of a gentleman I was so I knew that night I was going to get laid, fuck yes. Anyways, the fire was dying down so Ryan was going to get wood with a few buddies of mine, I had them take a radio with them to radio me if they needed help. The fire started getting real low, it had been about 30 minutes since they had left. Hey, where the fuck you faggots at? I asked over the radio. Dude chill, I'm on my way Ryan responded. They came back later with a fuck ton of wood, got the fire going again, then eventually it started to get late. People wanted to start going home so after everyone left only 8 of us remained. The girl I liked, Sarah. Ryan, David, another guy, and 3 other girls. David, the other guy and the girls were wasted as fuck and were all flirting with each other. I continued to chill at the fire with Sarah and Ryan talking about random shit. Started to get real late, around 2 am is when the 3 girls, David, and the other guy went to lay down in the cabin. Sarah and I stayed outside and talked for a while. Eventually we started making out, I stopped when I heard this cracking sound outside. I looked over and could make out a figure walking around near the tree line. Hey you, what are you doing over there? I asked. Dude chill, I'm on my way the figure responded. It sounded like Ryan, but I swore Ryan had been in the cabin, maybe he had walked out when I was occupied but he didn't make sense. What? I asked. Dude, chill, I'm on my it responded again. My hair started to raise up on my neck. The fuck? Sarah responded. Sarah, go inside and wake up everyone I responded, she didn't hesitate. I walked over to my SUV and popped the trunk and grabbed an AR-15. For some reason I was shaking, and the death smell was back again. What the fuck? I whispered to myself shoving the mag into the rifle and sending around into the chamber. I walked around the SUV to where I saw the figure in the woods and couldn't see it. About this time Ryan walked out of the cabin and looked at me like I was fucking stupid. Dude why do you have a gun? He asked. Were you out in the woods? I asked him. He told me he had just woken up and had no idea what I was talking about. I told him to take everyone back to their cars and come back with a gun. He got everyone into my SUV and drove off. I sat there by the fire for a while, looking around me. I had a spotlight by my side the Lumillion candle what power ones. I couldn't help but thinking it was someone playing a trick on me, but living 8 miles away from a prison you can't really be too sure. The death smell was starting to get almost repugnant, I felt almost like gagging. I heard something walking through the woods again, I grabbed the spotlight and stood up. I waited for a moment then I saw it again, the figure walked out of the woods and stood there looking at me. I flipped on the light at it, its back was turned towards me, staring into the woods. Hey. I got a fucking gun, you might want to tell me who the fuck you are before I lay your ass out right now. Not a single word came out of the person's mouth. Motherfucker. I started to walk closer. Dude why do you have a gun? The person asked. Because I. I stopped mid-sentence. I started to think about what it said, and what Ryan said. It was mimicking Ryan. It repeated it again, this time it sounded just like Ryan. 
I raised the rifle and sighted in on the guy. Ryan. I asked. Its neck shifted a bit, then twitched its whole body, it looked unnatural, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but something about the man looked wrong. I heard music playing in the background and I could see headlights coming through the woods. Who are you? I asked the figure turned around and looked at me, its facial features were off, it looked like the other guy that was with Ryan, but its voice sounded just like Ryan's and it stared at me with its mouth gaped open. Who the fuck are you? I shouted flipping my rifle off safe. Something in the fire snapped and made a loud noise so I flipped around to see what was behind me then snapped back to where the person was standing, it was gone. Fuck. I shouted looking around for him. About this time Ryan was parking the Suburban and getting out and putting a pistol in his back waistband. Dude what's going on he asked. I started to fill him in on everything, then asked him if everyone was with him. He told me everyone in the cabin was in that SUV, the other guy, Sarah, and the three girls. We sat by the fire and started waiting. The death smell had went away for the time being, it was around 4 am now, sunlight should be coming in just a few hours. At that time the death smell had came back, this time stronger than ever. To the point Ryan gagged and almost threw up. I got up and looked around, waiting to see the figure again. A few moments passed then I could see something on the ground, coming out of the woods. I turned on my spotlight and shined it at the figure, the man, who I had seen before was on the ground rolling around. What the fuck is that? Ryan asked, pulling his pistol out. We both stared at the man roll around for a good 20 minutes then stopped and laid there on the ground. The fire outside illuminated the figure through the widow on the door, I could see it standing there, twitching. Sunrise started to come, I could see the figure walk away from the cabin, I ran up and opened up the door and walked outside. By this time the sun was starting to come up, but it was still hard to see anything outside except for the man. The man was walking towards the woods, twitching and shaking. Hey! I shouted. Drawing my rifle on the man. The figure stopped, and looked at me I fired a round straight into its head. I seen the man drop like a rock on the ground and start twitching. Fuck you! I shouted and kept a beat on him waiting for the twitching to stop. What happened next I couldn't explain, the man stood up and started walking to the woods like nothing happened. I lowered my rifle and watched as he made it to the tree line and turn around and look at us. I didn't see any wound from him, nothing, his face was completely untouched. The death smell went away, I couldn't smell it anymore. The man smiled at us and walked into the woods again. By that time we ran to the SUV, got in and got the fuck out of Dodge. We never spoke of what happened to anyone in fear they'd think we were mental. I've been back to the place countless times now but I cannot seem to smell the death smell or see anything unusual anymore. I'm not sure if the goatman slash skinwalker slash ghost thing has gone away or it's moved somewhere else, who knows.